LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. And let me tell you, do something. Let me tell you, do something right now, okay? Listen, man, this was a good fight from start to finish, man. It was a real good fight. You know what, man? Jesse Vargas, he don't have anything to hold his head down about, and that's just the way that is. I'm going to tell you something, man. Um, this was a close fight. The fight to me was very close, but I was pulling for Vargas. And Vargas, in my opinion, he was winning the fight. And then in the second half of the fight, I thought Manny Pacquiao kind of began to pull out, man. Um, I had Pacquiao winning the fight 7-5, to five, okay? Now, at first I had it a draw. At first I had this fight a draw. I had it a complete draw. But then I kind of changed that because I thought Pacquiao did do enough in the last round to win the fight. Because up to, up to the last round, I actually had it a draw. And I said that whoever win the last round, they're going to win the fight. And I thought Manny Pacquiao won. I thought it was 7-5. to five. Now... I don't think it was a blowout, but let me go ahead and break the fight down, okay? Uh, early on in the round, man, Pacquiao, you know, no, Jesse Vargas did a good job of establish, establishing his jab. But I felt like Jesse Vargas did not have any answer for that left hand. He didn't. Sometimes you would see Jesse Vargas follow back up with the right hand, and that right hand was giving Pacquiao a lot of problems. But I actually saw Pacquiao make an adjustment, man, and he started, you know, circling away from that right hand when Jesse Vargas tried to throw it. But Vargas still, at times in the fight, would catch Manny Pacquiao with that right hand. And Vargas, I thought he staggered Manny Pacquiao a couple of times with that right hand. But then, you know what? Pacquiao just exploded, man. He exploded. And then he caught Vargas with a left hand and dropped Vargas in the second round, man. He put Vargas on the canvas. And uh, Vargas was kind of, it was shocked, man. He didn't, Vargas never saw the punch coming, okay? He didn't see the punch coming. I thought Vargas, to me, was a little bit too tight. You know, he just, he wouldn't settle down until, like, midway through the fight. He began to settle down and kind of, you know, get his shots off. And he started doing a couple of things, man. And I was like, okay, he's starting to settle down. But I think Pacquiao, you know, landed. I thought Pacquiao landed more punches. And, of course, you know, when I look at the punch stat, you know, I was correct on that end. You know, Pacquiao did land more punches. Um, You know, I think that Pac Vargas, he was going to get robbed regardless, okay? He was going to get robbed. But let me finish breaking down some of the punches. Uh, you know, miraculously, that right shoulder, boy, they did a good job in surgery because I'm telling you, uh, Manny Pacquiao, you know, also, he did he did a pretty good job with his right hand. Um, some of the things that I saw Pacquiao doing, though, that, you know, I think another welterweight, like, you know, like an Errol Spence or somebody would capitalize, he was throwing too many of these off-balance punches, man. Like, it's almost like he was swinging for the fences. Like, he would throw, he would commit to a punch. And I, and I like the fact that he would commit to his punches, but he would commit to them. Vargas would just sidestep him, and Pacquiao was just off balance. And I was thinking that Vargas was going to take that opportunity, man, to start catching Manny Pacquiao with some of those shots while he was off balance, man. But he didn't. But one thing I did like that Vargas started doing, you know, Pacquiao got this habit, man. And, you know, and they, they pointed it out, too. He was banging his gloves and pulling up his shorts. Well, Vargas started catching him. When he started trying to pull his shorts up or, you know, grab his trunks, Vargas started hitting him. And that was disrupting Manny Pacquiao's flow, too, as well. Pacquiao points to the fight was frustrated because Jesse Vargas also began to start, you know, picking up on Manny Pacquiao's timing. And he started catching Manny Pacquiao coming in, man. It was, it was good. Vargas did a lot of good things in this fight, but I knew that they were going to rob Vargas. I knew that they would rob him. Oh, and one other thing that I thought that Vargas could have did better, you know, I thought Vargas could have had better head movement, man. I don't think Vargas moved his head enough to avoid that left hand. It's just, it was almost like, man, he was caught off guard every time he got hit with that left hand. And that left hand was hurting him, man. Every time he got hit with it flush, Vargas, you know, kind of had to take a couple steps back. He had to kind of recover. Vargas got stunned several times in this fight, man. He did. But, you know, 118 to 109 is ridiculous. Did, what did they have? Did they have C.J. Ross, a reincarnation of C.J. freaking Ross, 118 to 109? This dude was going to get robbed. I'm telling y'all. Now, I may have had Pacquiao winning the fight in a close fight. Jesse Vargas had no way of winning this fight. He was going to get robbed regardless. It didn't matter if he won, if he won on our scorecards. He was going to get robbed. Because, see, whether you people want to admit this or not, boxing is about the money. That's it. There's nothing else you can say about boxing. Because there was somebody in the audience. Now, I don't know. I don't know why he was there. Maybe he was just watching a fight. Or maybe he really was thinking, you know what? Maybe it's time for another payday. Maybe. I don't know. But Floyd Mayweather 
his goofy ass was in the audience. He was in the audience, and he was watching the fight, you know, and I'm thinking, okay, so he's at the fight, but maybe it was because it was in Las Vegas, and he lives in Las Vegas, and maybe he just, he maybe he just did want to see a fight. We don't know why he was there in the audience, and he was sitting right behind Stephen A. Stupid. He was sitting right behind Stephen A. Stupid. I tell you, I tell you what, man, I tell you what, strange things happen tonight, but those scorecards way off man whoever did that whoever you know what that judge need to be fired man it need to be fired this was not a unit this was a close fight man this fight at at most it should have been a split decision okay this one was a split decision fight i thought vargas kept the fight close i thought vargas did a lot of stuff correct i don't think manny pacquiao went in there and blew jesse vargas out you know you know you leave it up to brian kenny and stephen a smith oh pacquiao blew him out but see, we know Stephen A. Smith don't know nothing about boxing. And that's okay. I got a separate video. Oh, I got a separate video about Mr. Stephen A. Stupid with that hairline. Every time I see him, that hairline is getting weaker and weaker and is almost to the back of his head. You know what, though, man? It was a good performance by Jesse Vargas, man. It was a good performance. I did, though, I have to admit, I think he lost by one round. I think he did. Um, you know, and, you know, a lot of people may disagree with that. I don't know. But Pacquiao did not blow this dude out, man. Pacquiao didn't blow him out, but congrats to Manny Pacquiao. You know, he won the fight. I was pulling for Vargas. I was really wanting Vargas to really get this because there were so many people criticizing Vargas, you know, really criticizing him, but he kept the fight close. So could a rematch be in order? Could, it, could You think Pacquiao would give Vargas a rematch? I, I mean, I don't know. But I think that, you know, Vargas would probably do better in a rematch, man, because Vargas is a good fighter. He's a good fighter. He, I'm, <clears throat> excuse me. He's a good fighter. But where does he go from here? Where does Vargas go from here? He didn't, Man, his stock didn't drop at all. Stock didn't drop. Okay, you lost to Manny Pacquiao. Even though, you know, he, you were going to have a help. You were going to have assistance from the judges. Oh, you were. But you know what? At the end of the day, man, it's, just, it's boxing. That's how it is, man. We're living in times where the sport of boxing, it just, it sucks. The fight was a good fight. But 118 to 109, man, I'm sorry. I can't co-sign it. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. What do you do is waiting on subscribe. I'm done.